so um, welcome everybody uh, today we are going to learn how to uh, give fulfillment to our web home that we just created our um, in our last uh, video i will link it to, i will link uh, that video in the description okay so uh, so as i is told in the previous video we up, we are going to upload our all functions to the cloud in the firebase functions so for that we need to actually install uh, firebase tools that that is you that tool you use to upload all the functions to the cloud uh, like but before installing our firebase tools uh, first we actually need to install npm npm is the node package manager npm is used to uh, npm is used to actually basically uh, to install share and uh, your distributed code or you can uh, manage dependencies and other things from the npm npm usually come with uh, node.js uh, but uh, there is a website where you can go and uh, see how to install npm uh, i would strongly recommend you to use uh, uh, linux if you, you are a window user just please just please convert into linux okay use linux linux is good i am also using a one to lts it's was very really fine for me but uh, if you want to get uh, see the instructions how to install npm let's uh, go to this website this is the just search this just go to uh, <coughs> download this website will pretty well will work for you or you can go to npm doc npm docs just go with this uh, website or it pretty work fine for me okay uh, I have installed and Node.js and NPM. I am not going to show you this, but uh, again, other method also. If you want to like install, like first you can install NVM. NVM is a Node version manager. Uh, you can get it um, <coughs> for Linux. Uh, there is uh, this guy repository is uh, we I where I go and get uh, this Node version manager. Uh, you just go and see their installation step here install nvm then install nvm install npm uh, i will just write the command in terminal i'm gonna run it but uh, install nvm okay then install then do nvm install npm after that uh, uh, npm node package manager will be installed and then you can um, install firebase tools okay uh, the command for installing the firebase tools is uh, So I have installed it. I'm not gonna waste the time in installing these tools. But uh, uh, if you want to go, I'll just link few things uh, to how to get um, how to install in these descriptions. I'm not gonna waste time on in, uh, installing those I mean, things again. Just go to figure out figure it out himself. If you don't, uh, if you can figure it out, just comment. I I will make a separate video to how to install those things. Uh, if you are if you have done using if you get how to install uh, firebase tools and after that you can check uh, your version what see i have installed my firebase tools and after this you you have to go to firebase page and uh, log in it it will redirect you to the <coughs> page but as i already logged in with my email account you can like you can see here so i don't need 
to do this but uh, you have to go and install it okay so uh, as this, this these are the setup for your local uh, environment how to deploy those things on um, cloud functions okay so let's get started with our code here uh, today we will write our first node.js code and uh, we will see how to uh, implement those uh, how to implement this and uh, get get our functions to the cloud so uh, as 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 we logged in now let's start with making our project so go to the file manager and uh, where you usually write your code make like a new file new folder and uh, uh, just give it name tom myself okay you can create any name you want just let's create this okay and go inside this folder and open it in Mm, let's just open it in VS code here you can see how you can open terminal okay so we are gonna do what firebase in it so we are doing our first firebase in it uh, firebase in it means that you are, we are, you are gonna uh, start your file firebase work in that directory okay so the things Firebase provide is like database. You know, if you want to some database, in the Firebase uh, Fire Store. If you are uh, if you are using uh, no, actually the Fire Store is the uh, we will we will talk about Fire Store in our future videos. Fire Store is a what you can say a no SQL database. Um, but uh, we will talk about it in later. We are gonna uh, use Firebase functions. Uh, in by clicking the space you select anything okay so uh, by clicking the space you select functions and then enter now it will give you several options let's just do this as fast as we can uh, so uh, let's find our project that we are making this myself this project that we created on functions we are going to use it so selecting this and press enter so it will give you a few options like you are want to use javascript or typescript obviously we are going to use javascript um, you want to catch bug yes do you want to install dependencies yes obviously you are going to install dependencies let's just roll with it it will take a few second so while it is taking few second i will just uh, i will get you to the uh, dialog flow page and i will show you something like now thing is key uh, where you can uh, in dialog flow console uh, if you are going to open this fulfillment um, there is an options of webhook or inline editor so as you can see that we are going to use webhook we are going to cloud deploy our functions to the cloud so and we are not going to use inline editor so let's just disable this inline editor and enable our webhook here you can see like we cannot get this this url as uh, automatically so first let's uh, enable this and deploy this thing after deploying this it will take a few seconds few minutes actually uh, and uh, it will automatically then give you the url that we need to actually uh, that we will be needing uh, to enable our webhook it will take a few seconds mm, let's just see so 
as uh, I have probably ex explained the how to install NVM and, and, and NVM install NPM. I will, I will wrote these things in descriptions. Don't worry. Mm, it's just waste of time if you if you are not do this. Then why are you on my channel? Go find how to install those things and then come back and we will talk about it. It will. It may take a few seconds. So I'm just gonna pause this video and we'll so as we can see now that our function got, got deployed to the fulfillment, but we are not actually using the inline editor to do this. We are, we want to have, do everything from scratch. So we are gonna disable this inline editor and we are gonna enable our webhook. Okay, and now you can just see that URL that actually URL is for our cloud functions it enabled in our is just came in our webhook in, in fulfillment so it, it comes just pretty easy for us and let's just check that our uh, npm library that uh, we are just in time local environment we were setting up in our vs code is it um, in done or not let's just check it out so yeah so it's done uh, see um, uh, when you open this like the functions uh, you will get these things on your uh, directory the functions firebase json or and you not you don't have to worry about these things actually because we don't wanna change this much uh, but let's uh, the main we are gonna change it like this and we are gonna work with index.js so it's already deployed it uh, it already written some things like uh, with functions let's just delete these things and <coughs> we, we're gonna say let's delete it okay so mm, <coughs> we are going to use actions on google so let's install um, npm install actions on Google what quickly typing so as now you can go to and package JSON library and you can see after you will facing you will see that the actions on Google plugin just came into this our after our first deployment <coughs> so let's start writing our code Mm. so let's just start with some basic mm. constant mm. the package we are gonna take uh, we are going to use dialog flow Okay, now I understand what actually happened in our uh, code. Uh, see, the thing is, ki you have to move to the function code. Let's see, we just created this folder here. Uh, the npm last to install it got here, but we are going to delete this uh, because we are no, we don't use this here. We are going to move to our change directory functions. And now we are going to run our last command npm install actions on google so uh, and this was by our error we, but we just fixed it so let's just write our first code so here we imported uh, actions on google package that provided by npm to our and uh, the dialog flow functions we just uh, we <coughs> implemented that functions from uh, actions on google and let's um, move to our next so basically what we do that we create our uh, instance of that app like um, let's just name it app and give this name uh, the dialog flow okay so and let's make it 
debug to true okay and now we gonna <coughs> the main thing is here we actually do that our we get an instance of our dialog flow uh, we get an instance of dialog flow and um, here we will take uh, the intent of that dialog flow the intent we actually we are gonna add the intent in the mm, well default welcome intent that we have already in our dialog flow but we are going to implement it with our webhook so in this app dot intent and we have like as you can see that default welcome intent is written in uh, our uh, dialog flow so it's getting giving automatically a suggestion to implement it so let's just click this default welcome intent and we want to give a give a function uh, and the function will take an argument conversation the conversation means that what we are going to speak is just uh, simple and it will return and back <coughs> what we are going to return it will return what you want to say like sorry mm, con dot ask what you want to say so you just write in hey i am tom welcome to my actions on google so and for the cloud function mm, for the cloud function to deploy it we write uh, we are going to export Firebase These three lines we have to write, write it once. Like it is saying that our dialog flow firewall fulfillment we are going to uh, implement with the HTTPS package request and this app that instance we created we are going to deploy it. So let's just save it and we are going <coughs> to run this. Uh, but before that we have to actually change the default welcome intent a bit. Here you can uh, when you open this intent there are few, few things here you can see like um, there are this context we gonna learn in later but let's just take it event there are a few default in a given intent from google where you can actually uh, add uh, things you will uh, give you automatic reply to that function like this uh, welcome event uh, he knows that you are triggering welcome event so uh, it will deal with like in that fashion so here is the training phase training phase means now how you invoke that and uh, that intent so like uh, hello there hi this is just in build we are going to change it later um, so, and this is the response I, this response uh, will be default if you have no if you don't create with our webhook but we are, we are creating with a webhook so it will overwrite it overwrite this response so we are going to you uh, come down to bottom here you will find fulfillment and as you can see like we are enabling our fulfillment with webhook so you are going to enable this um, text button that uh, enable this webhook call and uh, go to the um, vs code and uh, just deploy it and let's just wait a bit here you can easily see that it will check your uh, script and everything he will uh, analyze and if it's okay it will deploy to your everything to your cloud let's just hear some country and so as you can see that our project um, uh, 
you can console you can here you can go and see your function that we have created it's live but let's just see that in our action console and our an action simulator it, it's uh, working or not so we are going to in console action on google and we are going to open our simulator uh, these things we learned in our last tutorial so let's try okay this is showing our last uh, but let's see that uh, the fulfillment that we integrated is it working oh sorry we are going to save it now we didn't save it last time that's why it was not working okay and it's training started let's just uh, it will take a few seconds to train your model mm. these are few things uh, that we talk in previous video if you uh, want to check that out must like you are going to follow this tutorial in series like uh, what the subject i taught in last video i'm not going to teach in this video so let's see our <coughs> how our actions is working Wow. As we didn't overwrite it, let's just deploy it again on our server. Let's see if it's working or not. You can also check these things on we never go into firebase console let's just go and check uh, why okay so yeah this is our uh, and tab we are not going to um, choose any data sharing plan but let's just see that our project is deployed or not on the dashboard yes so let's see yeah and let's just check with the simulator if it's working or not okay so as you can see like it's not working i'm just going to see what is the problem why it's not overriding this okay so I think it's going to problem with this let's just delete all those response and then save this go to the full integration let's see that our webhook call is enabled or not okay see as you can see like our webhook call is actually disabled that's why we are not getting there so always remember to enable webhook here and every time you create a uh, intent you you go to their fulfillment and you enable this webhook call if you don't do this you will find error so let's integrate our app and take a couple seconds okay 
Không kể Mày sao đâu Ok, it's scaling giving an empty response Let's just deploy it again You have to keep deploying it man Like, then only you can get uh, Actual update and just what just one time one time you're gonna fix these things and after that it will run smoothly i don't know why it's not working right now but let's see okay let's check it again you set this thing and check why it's saying it's not responding Sometimes I'm actually using it very out of empty speech response. So I'm gonna pause this video and it will figure out what. Uh, so actually, we are going to select this uh, option and uh, it will uh, configure us for our functions. <coughs> like we have our uh, spark plan for this project and for now let's see if it's giving or not no no let's see what is the problem like if you are going to take mm, this default welcome and let's check this full fun. oh yeah as you can see like we did not enable the webhook call so that's why we are getting the error so always remember to enable this and then save this <coughs> so i think now it might work you always remember always to enable fulfillment in the intent of and also in, in your webhook in this fulfillment so let's check if it's working or not okay let's see so you created your first app from the node.js code so congratulations we are going to end this video now and uh, I will show you how it works on mobile if I can but uh, you get the idea what it is and so if you like this video just subscribe to my channel we are going to get the more content as fast as, as, as soon as we can let's see and please subscribe to my channel and comment where you face the errors see these are few errors we are going to face but um, I don't think this uh, the one time you actually enable your webhook and all those sort of things after that we are going to use very it will be pretty easy for you to follow so i hope it will be good in future but let's just stop this video right now and goodbye